Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies video. Today I want to talk about a bunch of future updates coming to the game, some of which I think are pretty huge. So this video is just basically going to be a compilation of everything we know that is coming in the future. So first things first, before the release of Black Ops Cold War, obviously there were a bunch of leaked images surfacing online. Now I won't be able to show these images within this video obviously, However, these images show the menu of the game during its alpha, and they show that all of the skill upgrades for the perks, your ammo mods, the field upgrades, and also the weapon classes had five different upgrades instead of the three that we have currently within the game. Now, apparently the reason as to why the other upgrades were removed from the game was because Trek felt like you were too overpowered. However, there have been two other crystal types found within the game. Now, I won't be able to show these images within today's video, but you can find them on Twitter pretty easily. But essentially, obviously right now we have raw Ethereum crystals that you earn by getting to milestone rounds. Well, there's two other crystal types. There's an epic tier upgrade and also a legendary tier upgrade. And if we look back to these images from the alpha, you can see that the upgrades were previously color coordinated. So the first three tier upgrades were blue for the raw Ethereum crystals and then the final two upgrades, 4 and 5, were orange and purple to correspond with the epic and legendary Ethereum crystals. Now initially I thought that this was scrapped content from the alpha of the game and there was no chance that it was going to be coming in the future, but I have had second thoughts regarding this. I think at some point in time they are going to release these other two types of Ethereum crystals to the game and that is how we're going to unlock the higher tier upgrades. Now as to how we get these higher tier upgrades, I have no idea. I'm assuming it's not going to be via milestone rounds, it'll probably be via another method. Maybe completing the easter egg, or doing the easter egg in a certain amount of time, or maybe you will unlock them via a new mode that's going to come to the game. That would be a great way to encourage people to play other modes other than just survival. But yeah, right now it kind of sucks because once you've unlocked everything within the game, you stop earning ethereum crystals. You can't even start stacking them for when updates come to the game. Because as you guys know, there will be more perks, there will be more field upgrades, etc. And when those get added, obviously we will be able to earn raw Ethereum crystals once again. But it's just unfortunate that we can't stack them until they actually release. Some people have been speculating that these new Ethereum crystals could be used for some sort of gobblegum system, a microtransaction system potentially coming to the game. I don't think we're going to see any microtransaction system introduced into zombies because ever since Modern Warfare they are just focusing on trying to sell the battle pass and also the bundles in the store. They will not be having any loot or gambling system within the game. This is all based on the fact that there are reused models of the Gobblegum machine within the campaign such as within the Berlin mission. I don't think this is hinting at anything to do with Gobblegum's returning. I mean Dr. Monty doesn't even exist anymore. It is just a reused asset or it could just be a potential callback or a throwback reference. Now speaking of future content coming to the game, it seems like we know a few different future field upgrades. Now I don't know when these are going to be coming because we know of three future field upgrades. Now obviously season one launches on December 16th and was initially going to release on December 10th but was pushed back by a week. I highly doubt they're going to release all three of these field upgrades at once so we will probably see them spaced out. So we might see one of these with season one. If so, I will be very happy about that. But who knows, these could come later on. We don't have any specific dates. But a huge thank you to Nanakos that I will leave a link to down in this video's description. And I had forgotten about this, but when you get your preview screen about the field upgrades, there is another field upgrade called Frenzied Guard. Now this was one that was actually talked about before release, but we never ended up seeing it on release. Well, I guess Trek accidentally showed it within the game. So yeah, I guess at some point in time it was going to be there on release, but now it's probably going to be coming later on. Now, I don't really know what this is exactly, but it seems to show a shield in the icon. So it seems like it will guard you from the zombies in some way, as the name suggests. I wonder if it's going to work like the zombie shield, where it's going to provide some sort of shield for you, since there is no shield within this game and we have armor instead. Now, there are two other field upgrades that are eventually probably going to come to the game, which are Lightning Link 
dogs. I don't know what that is. It'll probably electrocute the zombies, maybe. And we also have toxic growth. Again, I don't know what that is, but maybe a ring will appear around you and when the zombies go in it, roots could grow up from the ground and trap the zombies or pull them down to the ground and kill them. I don't know, wild speculation there, but these were two that once again were talked about before release, but never ended up coming on release. Now, I guess you could say, well, maybe these three field upgrades are just cancelled. I doubt it. I think we're going to see them at some point in time, because as you guys know, there were also around five different score streaks from multiplayer that were talked about before release, never ended up coming on release, and now we know for sure that we are going to be seeing new score streaks with Season 1 for multiplayer. So I think they've done the same thing with these field upgrades. I wonder if we're also going to see more ammo mods added to the game, and stuff like that. But yeah, I have no idea as to when all of this content is going to release. It's probably going to be spread out over the DLC cycle, over the seasons. Obviously, we won't get everything all at once. Now, obviously, we will also be seeing future perks come into the game, that once again, we will be able to upgrade. And obviously, it seems like we're probably going to see one per DLC, assuming we get four DLCs, because on the Wonder Fizz machine on the Machina, you can see that there's four additional slots for four perks that haven't released to the game yet. So it seems like probably the way that it's going to work is we will see one perk per new DLC map, but then in order to get the perk on the prior maps, instead of them just adding the perk machine, you will just be able to get them from the Wonder Fizz. Or maybe they will add the perk machine. Only time will tell. But as you guys know, within the files of the game, there's four different perk jingles that also have Dark Ether variants, which are Double Tap, Tombstone, PhD Flopper, I don't know how that would work, maybe it would be like PhD Slider, and also Mule Kick. Now this doesn't necessarily mean they will 100% be coming as DLC, maybe they will just cut from the game, but they do have Dark Ether versions, which confirms at least at some point in time, they were planned to be within the game. Once again, maybe they were cut, or maybe they will just be coming later as a DLC, but it does seem suspicious that there are four additional perks within the files of the game, and then there's four perks on the Wonder Fizz. Now, recently I made a video in which I talked about a supposed seventh perk found on D Machina. Basically, a guy on Reddit glitched under the map, and he posted secret seventh zombies perk, O'Grady's Fight Beer. Now, a few others and I made a video on this, because it looked very legitimate when we saw it, and obviously, I've never glitched under the map before, so I had no idea as to the logistics of it, but obviously, since I posted a video about this, we have some updated information. For some weird reason, when you glitch under the map on D Machina, it makes all of the items appear massive. I don't know why it does this, it doesn't make any sense, and all this supposed perk is, is the Molotov Cocktail Bottle. Yes, that is right. On screen right now, you can see the exact texture from the files of the game. It is literally identical to this supposed perk. The only thing that I find really weird is if you look from the images that they posted, the texture of the bottle is flat. Even if the bottle was enlarged under the map, I don't know why the texture has literally become flat instead of being wrapped around the bottle. It doesn't really make sense. I don't know why this glitch even occurs. I can definitely understand as to how just looking at this, you could think that it is a perk machine, especially if you have never really paid attention or don't remember what is written on the Molotov cocktail. So when I saw this, I thought, yeah, this is definitely a perk. I didn't really even question it. The only thing that I questioned was, why on earth was the quality so bad of the guy who posted the images? That was the most suspicious thing about it, but it never crossed my mind for one second that this could be a Molotov cocktail. And yeah, he tricked a lot of people within the community. Like I said, I made a video about it. Plenty of other people made videos about it. And I guess we were all bamboozled. So yeah, this won't be coming as a DLC perk. So I just thought I would put that out of the way. You know what would be very cool? If Treyarch were to actually turn this into a perk, just as a meme. They could even make the perk based around the Molotov cocktail where you drink it and then you start acting drunk and whenever the zombies go near you, they burst into flames or something like that. I don't know, that's just a weird suggestion, but I think Treyarch could definitely play around with the community's fan theories and stuff that ends up being completely false. That happens very often. I mean, they did that with Space Dog in Black Ops 3's Zombies Chronicles when they released Moon Remastered. Now, the next thing that I want to mention is in the map and also outside of the map, people have been finding really weird stuff. They've been finding epic and also legendary versions of armor. Now, I am very confident that this is just a glitch or it's something left over that Treyarch were using for testing and it's probably not something coming as future content. Just because the 
legendary armor is the exact same model as the armor from Blackout. So I think this was probably just for testing. I don't know why people are stumbling along these within the game though. Maybe they do plan on adding further rarities for armor within the game. However, I highly doubt it to be honest. Surely you would start to become really overpowered at that point. Unless as it was saying, they are going to be adding, I think, more upgrades for all of your perks. So maybe there's going to be another upgrade for Juggernog, in which increases the odds of higher tier armor spawning in on the map. Again, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this is just a visual bug, probably something that Treyarch were using for testing, but you can let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. The next thing that I want to mention is regarding DLC weapons. So with season one, we are going to be seeing a new weapons coming to the game, and we know that they're going to be added into Zombies 2. So I'm assuming they'll just be added straight into the mystery box, or we will be able to equip them to our loadouts. Anyways, in the calling cards today, we are able to get previews of the three new weapons coming in Season 1. So first of all, we have the Grozer Assault Rifle, and then we also have the Mac 10 Submachine Gun. In addition to this, we have the Street Sweeper Shotgun, which is just the Striker. One of these will be the mid-season weapon and will probably not be there when Season 1 releases. Now, in terms of new Zombies modes, so with Season 1, we will not be seeing a new map, at least not on launch. However, we will be seeing new Zombies modes. Now, there is one mode that we know of called Outbreak, but we know pretty much nothing about what this mode entails. But yeah, be on the lookout for that. That will be coming with Season 1. So right now, we don't know exactly what this Outbreak mode is going to be. However, we know that it's apparently going to be played on the Fire Team multiplayer maps, and it's going to revolve around trying to close off Dark Ether Rifts. But yeah, I don't really know what it is exactly. But yeah, at the moment, we only have vague information, so we will just have to wait, I guess, until we learn some official information. Now, apparently, there is also going to be a Christmas mode coming at some point. Again, it might come right at the start with Season 1 or closer to Christmas. And this makes complete sense because D Machina is set pretty close to Christmas. There are Christmas lights around the map. Once again, I have no idea what this Christmas mode is, but it has been found within the files of the game. So when this Christmas update comes to the game, all of the zombies will then be wearing Santa hats, and also the Plague Hounds will now have a red nose like Rudolph, and have antlers with baubles hanging from them. In terms of the Christmas mode itself, there's been various different audio stripped from the files of the game, and there is new Christmas themed round change music, as well as you can hear horns honking. I'm assuming there is something to do with a sleigh then, if there is a horn for it. The zombies will be wearing this attire in both Onslaught, the other modes that are coming, and also the main survival mode. Some audio that has been found is announcer audio that says naughty or nice and also jingle hells. And by the way, the announcer is not Nikolai. I might make a video talking about that in the future. So I'm wondering if there could potentially be two Christmas modes, naughty or nice, and also jingle hells. Unless this audio is completely unrelated to the Christmas modes and it might just be something that plays when you get a power up or something like that. But yeah, those two audio have been found in the files of the game. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. What do you think these modes could potentially be? I'm glad that Treyarch is starting to have fun now with the zombies instead of taking themselves so seriously. In the past, I don't think they would have done something like this. With season one, there will be new operators coming to the game too. One of them is called Stitch, which looks kind of similar to Bane from Batman, but not exactly the same. And he has a cloak on, he's pretty muscly. He has a gouged out eye and is very menacing. And we will also be seeing another character that I believe is French called Xenia. Now Stitch is going to be the Battle Pass exclusive and Xenia I think is going to be a bundle exclusive operator. Another operator has been found called Bulldozer. I'm assuming this one is going to be the mid-season operator and it has a sledgehammer. Of course I won't be able to show the images of it unfortunately but it has a fire protective mask on I believe and we will be able to use these in Zombies 2 when they release to the game during season one. The next thing that I want to mention is Cod Zombies HQ recently posted a video in which he speculated about custom mutations coming to the game in the future. So there has been a glitch since launch that allows you to access custom mutations within the game. I've known about this for quite some time now because Z Serial Glitches posted a video on it. Now, I don't think these are going to be coming to the game in the future. We obviously saw them in Black Ops 4, but I just don't see them coming as DLC, to be honest, just because of the fact that the there were so many glitches
is with mutations in Black Ops 4, which allowed people to obviously solve the Easter eggs early and stuff like that. Now, it does say within the game that the author is a Treyarch, which could suggest that we are going to be able to create our own modes using custom mutations in the future, or custom zombies is coming to the game. And yeah, definitely, I don't think custom zombies is coming. But yeah, personally, I just don't think mutations are coming. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. The more we have, the better. But you can let me know down in the comment section down below, what do you think? Do you think they're coming? Do you not think they're coming? And why? I just don't see why the game would release without them if they're planning on coming out later, to be honest. This is probably just something that's left over from Black Ops 4, I think. Or alternatively, it could just be something that Treyarch were using for testing, for playtesters and stuff like that. And it's meant to only be for back-end dev use. Now, in COD Zombies HQ's video, he also talked about the potential of grief returning. And I do think a version of grief is going to return at some point in time. Because it does make perfect sense with us having Omega and Requiem. They could fight off against each other. We could play as either Omega or Requiem. And I definitely see that mode releasing at some point. However, I think that if Grief is going to return, it'll probably go by a new name. They wouldn't just call it Grief. They would rebrand it. And I think that they would change it a bunch too to make it more replayable. But yeah, that's the big thing about Zombies modes. And what Shrek need to do is they need to focus on making them replayable because mainly people play survival. If they're going to bother with other modes, there's not really any point in adding other modes if people are only going to play them one or two times and not really touch them again. For example, Onslaught, the PlayStation exclusive mode, it's pretty fun, but after you complete each map and defeat eight elites, there's not really much need to keep on playing the mode because it's very repetitive. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there is not going to be a new Zombies map with Season 1, at least on launch. But what I am hoping for is maybe during the mid-season, we could see Nagda on Totem release as a survival map where they just corner it off from D Machina because there wouldn't be really much work for them to do. It was also apparently planned to be there on launch but was cut from the game. So that could be something that we could see. And there are rumours floating about on Twitter about that too. But to be honest, I could see absolutely no new map in Season 1, to be fair. It really wouldn't surprise me, but we will just have to wait and see. Nax would be fun to play. I don't know how replayable it would be, but extra content is extra content. Now, something else that I noticed, and once again, I saw this from Cod Zombies HQ, so I will leave a link to his video down in this video's description. I've got to give credit where credit is due, because he tracks down all of the stuff that is being posted on Reddit that I don't really usually pay attention to. But a guy over on Reddit called DP Masher one posted this image of a millstop reflex. And I've seen this now from multiple different people where, for some weird reason, they are getting attachments to drop onto the ground as rare items. So in the future, they might be adding an update in which we are going to be able to maybe detach attachments from our weapons or collect attachments just by randomly getting them by killing zombies and they fall onto the ground and then we can attach them onto our weapons. I think this would be a useful feature to have because I think the big problem right now within the game is the fact that you cannot choose which attachments you have on your weapon. When you upgrade its rarity, you just get random attachments. And I think if they were to add attachment drops to the game, this would sort that problem out. And it could also help in multiplayer games where you could take off your attachments and give it to your friend who is playing with you. Let me know if this is something you would like to see, or maybe this is some sort of weird glitch or cut content. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.